Hey guys, the Super Review Sure for another My Thoughts on Video. I haven't done one of these in a little bit, but why not, right? Today's My Thoughts on Video, as the title of this video suggests, this is my thoughts on the overall look and appeal of the streaming service of Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus is a service that I, out of all the streaming services that I have, I have Disney Plus, I have HBO Max, and I have Paramount Plus. I also have Hulu through Disney, the, the, my, I pay for my cell phone bill as well, and I get Disney Plus with Hulu as well, um, and ESPN Plus too, but I only use um, Disney, I, I, I watch Hulu for like the X-Files and stuff like that, and Prey and stuff like that, but I want to shed some light on how positively awesome Paramount Plus is. So Paramount Plus is definitely the one in the very back of the race, if you will. Like HBO Max is more is doing much better than Paramount Plus. Uh, Disney Plus is doing much better than much better than Paramount Plus. Even Netflix, of course. Um, to an extent, this is one that's really catching. But it's one I feel it's it's a streaming service that's catching up a lot, though. I will say that because you have um, you have tons of the Paramount kind. You have you obviously have all the Star Trek shows. You have a, you have tons of other classic sitcoms from NBC at the time, like Cheers, like Frasier. Uh, that's all on there too. Um, I'll get to the, a couple of those in a second. Uh, you also have other new shows. You have the Top Gun Maverick is going to go there too. So they're they're people are going people who don't have Paramount Plus already are going to want to watch Top Gun Maverick on Paramount Plus, which is great. They have all the Mission Impossible films. They had the Indiana Jones films for a little while, but I'm pretty sure Disney probably got those back by now. Um, but bottom line. I love Paramount Plus. I'm a bit. It's got all the. It's, it's divided up into different sections. It has the the. Um, it has Nickelodeon, MTV. It has uh, your regular CBS. And by the way, I pay for, the one I pay for out of my own pocket is the one with the live function as well. So I can watch live if I if I choose to. I can watch live TV on my Paramount Plus app on my TV. So like if I wanted to watch. If God forbid I wanted to watch the local CBS two station, or you know, or something else like on live TV, I can watch live TV on Paramount Plus without a cable subscription. So that might change your input as well. For so many people are like, well, how am I going to be able to watch like the the Saturday morning, the S Sunday morning news, or even something like uh, like the evening the, the, the five o'clock news, or whatever, uh, for whatever your city you're in. Paramount Plus does that for your local CBS station if you were to watch, you know, if you watch that news, of course. Um, but as far as the service goes in general, I love it. I, I'm a huge Paramount fan in general, and I'm in the minority, but I don't care. Paramount is a really great studio, and I love their streaming service a lot. Uh, but Paramount Plus, just to give you guys a taste of what I'm watching right now as well, I'm watching, I'm almost done with Frasier. I know, I know I did a video back in February of why you should watch Frasier, which you really should. It's really, really hysterical. Um, I'm already, I'm getting closer and closer to ending of season 10 out of 11. So season 11 is the last season of Frasier, and I'm almost at the end of it. I've been binge watching Frasier now for over several months, truthfully. I, I, when I come home from work, or before I do another Super Future video, I'd watch a couple episodes of Frasier and then I'd come back. I've been binge watching this show since February and I love every single second of it. It's a hysterical show. One show that I am not watching personally, but I, I I share my login with my family. Don't kill me, everyone. I'm just saying. But I share it with my family. And some one of, some of my family is watching Cheers, apparently, or, or Bar Rescue. Like They have a bunch of other re really cool reality shows on there, too. Um they have tons, like the like a lot of the original Top Gun as well. As I mentioned, Top Gun Maverick. It's a and the Nickelodeon section for kids. Like if you're, let's say you're watching my video, right, and you're like, oh well, I'm not sure if I should have Paramount Plus or not. If your kid loves Nickelodeon or SpongeBob, or like which I thought before, I've been watching SpongeBob too, truthfully, uh, or the 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 Nicktoon side of stuff as well. Or even the like, the iCarly's back on. You know, if, if you're looking for a kid type of show to watch, the Nickelodeon side is a great side of Paramount Plus to watch those shows without paying for cable to watch your Nick Jr. and your Nickelodeon, whatever. Uh, even the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and stuff like that. So, because they're all in the, in the Transformers movies are on there. All of, a bunch of these other key franchises are under the Paramount Plus banner as well, which I really, really am a big fan of the Paramount. Plus app, truthfully. I'm a huge nut for it. Uh, like I said, I've been, been watching Frasier. I've been watching the first three seasons of SpongeBob. All on Paramount Plus, And it's a really solid service overall. 
when the news came out, I think it was two or three days ago, maybe like three or four days ago, that Showtime is going to be merging with Paramount Plus, right? Paramount, I, when I first said this, I said, this is a brilliant move on Paramount Plus's part to have another show, another, another catalog of stuff underneath their umbrella of stuff. Because the show, Showtime is a Paramount, like under one of their sub companies. But Showtime is some of the best shows, period, that have been on Netflix now under Showtime, and now they're going under Paramount Plus, which I'm a big, like I said before, big fan of it. They have billions. I believe it was Dexter, Shameless. These are all a lot of, like Ray Donovan, um, Californication with David Duchovny. These are other shows that are coming to Showtime, but excuse me, they're all under the Showtime banner, but they're now going under Paramount Plus. I'm a huge fan of... Of Paramount Plus, and then this was a great move for them in general to have this happen to them. I'm a big fan of them. I'm a big fan of what they do, and I, I really think that making this move to have um, to have uh, the Showtime catalog of shows, tons and tons of tons of tons of seasons and shows, be distributed through Showtime underneath Paramount. This is a golden move for them. And but let's be real, they're not they're not and they're not in the conversation with HBO Max. They're not in the conversation with Disney Plus or Netflix for that matter. But they are making great momentous steps to becoming a really solid streaming service to appeal to not just people like me, but to other people as well. They say, hey, you want to watch Nickelodeon? Go get Paramount Plus. You want to watch your local CBS2 station? Go watch Paramount Plus. Or go on to, or any, they even have like the, the uh, Smithsonian stuff on there, which is really cool stuff. They even have movies from like the 20s and 30s on there on Paramount Plus already. There was a report that came out, I want to think it was 2021, last year at some point. That Paramount Plus was adding a thousand movies to their catalog, so literally for three years straight, you could watch a movie every day if you wanted to. Um, and they're looking to get very serious with their programming. I mean, it's Star Trek: Picard, Star Trek: Discovery. Uh, these are their big name titles, and they want to grow this platform to be even more immersive and more popular, um, for lack of a better word. So, but bottom line, I'm a big Paramount Plus guy. What do you think about it, though? Jump down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts on Paramount+. Plus. If Are you a Paramount Plus guy out there or girl out there? Do you watch Showtime? Are you a fan of any of the shows I mentioned? Please leave all your thoughts in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on my thoughts. But for all of your my thoughts on videos, keep it locked on the Superview Show. The J-Man is off to rock. And stream Paramount+. Plus. Damn it.